All right, hello, welcome everybody uh, to our next EDW session called How Intuit, Jaguar, Land Rover, Xander, and United Health Group are driving business outcomes with graph database and AI, uh, which will be presented by Gaurav Deshpande. Uh, he's the VP of Marketing at Tiger Graph. Um, just to remind everybody that all audience members are muted during these sessions. So please submit your questions in the Q&A window on the right of the screen, and our speaker will respond to as many questions as possible at the end of the talk. So let's begin our presentation now. Thank you and welcome, Gaurav. Thanks a lot, John. It's so wonderful to be here at Enterprise Data World. I am familiar with the audience. I've been to many of your physical conferences, and before we jumped on, John and I were just chatting about how nice it will be to see everybody in person in a few months. With that, let me introduce myself. I'm Gaurav Deshpande. I'm Vice President of Marketing at Tigergraph. I handle all things marketing at Tigergraph. Before Tigergraph, I've done two startups that have gone through explosive growth. I2 Technology, which uh, IPO'd in uh, 1998, a supply chain management company, and went on to become one of the largest market cap supply chain planning organizations with a market cap of $40 billion in 2000. Uh, Trigo Technologies was my second startup, which was one of the, which is the largest master data management acquisition and largest big data acquisition, one of the largest big data acquisitions by IBM. Uh, that's how I became to be part of IBM. I have several patents in supply chain management and big data analytics. I have been with AI <clears throat> for most of my career. I started back in graduate school days in Ohio State when I did operations research, which is essentially AI for manufacturing and production control. And I've been with, uh, I'd say that AI has not left my side and I haven't left AI for the last 25 years. I'm a huge graph head, and I'll talk to you about what graph database is in just a moment, uh, but all of you are using it currently. That's the hint, and I'll expand more on it shortly. Finally, this is my email address, gaurav at tagigraph.com. Always reach out to me, my first name at tagigraph.com with any questions and anything that we can do to help you with your analytics or machine learning projects. With that background, let me talk a little bit about who Tigergraph is. We are a graph database, yes, but the easiest way to think about how our customers use us, over 60 Fortune 500 companies, hundreds of medium, medium size and startups use us for doing two things. We do advanced analytics, and we do machine learning. And the last part, connected data, is the interesting part where graph database comes in because in graph database, you have your data, all of your business objects, your products, your customers, suppliers, all of the data is pre-connected, which is different from a relational database. A relational database stores each, each entity, business entity, products, customers, suppliers, uh, accounts, payments, claims, everything is stored in separate tables. And you have to do what is called table joins in a relational database. And that is time consuming and it slows down your analytics and it slows down your machine learning. Graph databases are a natural solution for that. We are the third generation graph database. We are built on massively parallel processing technology to translate that into what it means for you as a customer. We are 40 to 300 times faster than any other graph database which means that we deliver the lowest cost of ownership. And you can do things in real time with Tigergraph that you cannot do with any other system in the world. We are available on-premise. We are available on all three major clouds. In fact, today, uh, yesterday, we made a big announcement where we added support for Google Cloud Platform or GCP on Tigergraph Cloud. Uh, we already had support for Azure uh, and AWS on Tigergraph Cloud. So Tigergraph Cloud is our graph database as a service. The best part about it is that you can try it out for free and you can even go use it in production for free if you would like to. We have a free tier available on Tigergraph Cloud. So if you, after this after this particular session, want to go check it out, you can go to tigergraph.com forward slash cloud, sign up, no credit card required, and experience one of the 20 starter kits with all major use cases for advanced analytics and machine learning applied with Graph. Here are some of our customers. And as I explain our customers, let me explain that in the context of who is Tigergraph in terms of capabilities. The first thing that we do is we are a distributed graph database. We connect all your data sets and pipelines. 
And when I say all data sets and pipelines, I actually mean all data sets and pipelines. Example, case in point here, United Health Group. They have built a customer 360 for their 50 million members. They call their customers members because they are members of a health plan. So they're 50 million members for each of them. They have built a customer 360 with 200 data sets and pipelines where the data is coming from. This is not a stale data or a static data or a or dated data that what you would find typically in a data warehouse. This is real time streaming data with Kafka pipelines. This is machine learning data with Spark pipelines. And this is all of their bulk data where of infrequently updated data. Everything is combined together into a single customer 360. They are in production right now. And every time you pick up the phone and call a United Health Group's call center, one of their 23,000 call center agents will pick up the phone they look at a screen of customer 360, and that screen is built off of Tiger Graph. Before that, to give you a perspective, they had 15 different screens that they would look at to find the information as a part of their customer service operations. So this has resulted in massive savings. Their data science team is also about 10,000 of their data scientists are using Tiger Graph to do things like, given a patient, I have a particular patient I'm looking at, they have a particular problem, what are the 100 similar patients as that across 50 million patients? Find the 100 closest matching patients to this patient across 50 million patients and do that in 50 milliseconds. That's what we do, which is why I said you can do things with Tiger Graph that you cannot do with any other system in the world. If you need more information about it, reach out to me at gorobertagigraph.com. I have a couple of other examples there, a Fortune 50 retailer that has built an item 360 much like Customer 360 for United Health Group, these guys have built an Item 360. And the last example I have there is AT&T's Xander Business Unit, which has built a wonderful identity graph spanning multiple customers. So when customers have multiple accounts, they link it all together using Tiger Graph. And again, they do it in near real time with Tiger Graph. Once you connect all data sets and pipelines, you've got Customer 360, you've got Item 360, you have an Identity 360, it's time to analyze that data. This is where we are 10 to 100 times faster than any of the current solutions. Case in point, Jaguar Land Rover is using us for supply chain planning. They used to take three weeks with a relational database-based solution for supply chain planning. Now they do it in 45 minutes. This helps them immensely, especially as the COVID-19 pandemic hit last March. Jaguar Land Rover was ready to react in minutes to supply and demand changes. They can plan their supply chain in 45 minutes. This has been a game changer for them. They have saved over 100 million pounds annually in incremental profits. So not just the revenue, they have added 100 million pounds in incremental profits. If you want to learn more about it, I invite you to come to tagigraph.com and click on customers. And then Jaguar Land Rover, there's a whole page dedicated with it with sessions that are talking about their, there's a case study. There are sessions from Graph Plus AI conference which is where I would like to invite all of you. Um, it hap it was yet it, it, it's happening this week as well, same time as Enterprise Data World. So when you're done with Enterprise Data World, come on over to taggygraph.com, click on Graph Plus AI Summit, and you'll be able to see session from Jaguar Land Rover and other customers. Um, the third component, after you connect all data sets and pipelines, you analyze the connected data with advanced analytics with Taggygraph. The third capability that we have, and this is unique in the market, is that we have in database machine learning. What, what does that mean? Why do you need in database machine learning? Well, your data is right there. The connected data is right there inside Tiger Graph. You've connected your customers, your accounts, your payments in case of financial services. Now it's time to actually do feature generation and training inside the database itself. <clears throat> case in point, Intuit, which is the parent of TurboTax. Tax season is coming up. May 17th is the due date for US for tax season, they have built an AI base. Their parent organization of TurboTax is Intuit. Intuit has built an AI based customer 360 for doing three things with Tiger Graph. And they, they use in database machine learning for that. They do entity resolution or identity resolution, connecting multiple customer accounts to a single one, single identity. Then they do personalization or recommendations on top of that. That's the second use case. And the third use case, which they presented at Graph Plus AI Summit yesterday was real-time fraud detection. Here is the amazing part about doing in-database machine learning. Intuit used to do entity resolution in batch mode. Now they can do it in near real-time 
with Tagigraph. They used to do recommendations. The recommendations are a lot more accurate with Tagigraph. And lastly, and this is the amazing part, real-time fraud detection has improved their fraud performance by 50%, which means they are finding fraud that was previously not found with relational database-based systems. They can find it with Tagigraph or Graph database 50% more accurately, and they have improved their fraud detection by 50% in terms of accuracy. In addition to Intuit, you know, we have several other customers. Seven out of top 10 global banks, banks like JP Morgan Chase and Bank of America are using Tagigraph in production with in-database machine learning for real-time fraud detection and credit risk assessment. This is just a quick chart on evolution of database. As I mentioned, relational databases have islands of information. They have individual tables on products, customers, orders, payments, suppliers locations and you have to do complex joins across those and that's why analytics and machine learning is really slow with relational database the solutions you see in the middle is a solution like mongodb which has a key value database where you have a large table with each row representing essentially a different structure of data it's very flexible but again you're scanning the same large table with millions of rows or billions of rows depending on the size of your data and that makes it very cumbersome for analyzing relationships. And therefore, analytics and machine learning, again, is very slow with the key value database. Graph database, like Tagigraph that you see on the right-hand side here, each entity, order, customer, pay payment, supplier, location, everything is stored as business objects and they're pre-connected, which means when you need to find out orders for a given customer and look at what payments have been made, you simply walk the graph from one node to the other or one vertex to the other and you walk the edge this is called an edge or a relationship in a graph everything is pre-connected and that makes the world of difference you can do analytics and machine learning 100 times to 1000 times faster with a graph database like tagigraph than you can do it with relational database or key value database traditional approach with relational database again problem lots and lots of table joins tagigraph solution Connect all data sets and pipelines into a single cohesive picture. So build a customer 360, such as what we have done with United Health Group. So this is a simplified schematic of what's in production. If you want to see the real product uh, screenshot in production there, you can go to tagigraph.com, uh, click on customers and United Health Group. And they did a keynote at Graph Plus AI event in September. You can see this real screenshot there. But I'll explain this briefly what this screenshot is. This is a screenshot for a customer, Doris Smith. You have all the basic information here about the customer, such as their name, their gender, their date of birth. Of course, it's all this is all anonymized, fictitious information, not real customer information. Um, first row that you see here is enrollment. That means when did Doris enroll into the healthcare plan? Second row that you see here is wellness check, which is when did Doris last have her wellness check with a doctor? Third thing that you see is prescriber claims, which is a term for doctors and prescribing nurses. When did they see the doctors last? And you see all the all the events over a period of time, over the six month period. Below that, you see testing and procedure claims, which is essentially lab uh, results for for this person. Uh, then you have physiotherapy claims, and then you have inbound calls when they have picked up the phone and call. Now all of these information comes from two hundred different data sets and pipelines. And what you see here is a single integrated UI used by twenty three thousand call center agents. So that's the first level of efficiency with this customer 360. As I mentioned previously, they used to switch across 15 screens. Now they do it with a single UI on top of Tigergraph. You see the button here called Find Similar Members. This is the magic button at United Health Group used by data scientists to find 100 matching patients for a given patient based on 200 features. And they do it in 50 milliseconds. Again, this is impossible to do with any other system other than Tigergraph. Next example I have here is an identity graph with at and Xander business unit. So you can see here what Xander is trying to do, they are an ad tech unit. You have multiple devices like a, like a cell phone, a laptop, um, or a desktop, and other devices for a customer. <coughs> First level of integration is to link all the devices to a particular user. And then second level of integration in an identity graph is to find all the users in a household and link them up with the household. So that's what they do with Tigergraph at massive scale. 
what kind of data do they have? They have identified data like cookies and sessions and other information coming in from AT&T, the parent organization, Xander, which is you know ad tech unit, their own data, Warner Media, you know, which has properties like HBO. I'm sure you're familiar with that. And then third party cookies that have been opted in are allowed to use by the customers opt in. But what is the size of the graph? Size of the graph is 5 billion vertices, which means 5 billion entities <clears throat> like devices, users, cookies, and so on and so forth, and 7 billion relationships or edges between them. There are 1 billion updates every every uh, every day. And then there are uh, they have a 10 node cluster deployed with each node or machine having 48 cores, 400 GB of RAM, which means this is a four terabyte deployments. You'll be hard pressed to sign this size of deployments with other graph databases, but performing and scaling at large scale is part of why people choose Tiger Graph. So you'll see it with us. What? Why? Why did they do this? Three reasons why they did it. First is implement frequency capping at a household or user level. That means don't show the same ad to the so same user more than a couple of times in a week, so that the efficacy of the ad is maintained. Second thing is to help advertisers find more consumers with audience extension uh, to be able to find similar users uh, and similar households and extend their audience. And the last thing is to manage consent elections. All of us want our data to be treated respect respectfully. And that's what Xander is allowed to do, able to do with the uh, tag graph. The next is analyze connected data. I'm going to cover this very briefly and I'll leave this with you. To go to tigerapp.com forward slash customer, look at Jaguar Land Rover's customer case study to learn more details about it. What were we trying? What were they trying to do? They are trying to do simply, essentially, marry up the data from business with the data from manufacturing, and do that demand and supply match quickly and replan as required. That was that was a, that was what they were trying to do. Couple of a few use cases here. First thing they are trying to do is match demand with supply. What does that mean? That means you have orders for cars here. They, uh, a particular order will have a particular feature like a heated seat is a feature, a particular engine configuration like a V6 2.4 liter engine is a configuration is a feature. Then if each feature you have a set of parts here that the feature is made from, and then from the parts you can have one or more suppliers. The ability to do demand and supply match uh, in minutes as opposed to weeks was the first requirement for Jaguar Land Rover. Second requirement, now with as you have supply chain risk, that means you're running out of parts with a critical part. How do you use the part for optimizing your mix and producing the most profitable cars? So for example, here you have the Evoke model that has a panoramic sunroof uh, as a feature. Then there are set up parts that are made up for the panoramic sunroof and there are suppliers who supply it. Because of COVID-19, if you had one of these suppliers or more of these suppliers being affected, or with any other restrictions like tsunami or outages or anything else or border closures, what is the impact and the ability to manage that impact? This is where supply chain risk management comes in. They can do it in minutes now as opposed to doing it in weeks. The third use case is making the most of surplus inventory. What does that mean? That means you, I have... I've made buy commitments to a supplier. I've told them that I buy a million pound worth of a particular part in a year. If I haven't consumed it, then I still have to pay the money. Instead of paying the money to a supplier for the parts I'm not consuming, why don't I give a deal to the customer where I put that particular feature like a sunroof or a moonroof or heated seats on discount? Customer gets it for lower, lower price than what they were paying earlier and I get to actually deliver value to customers and increase my sales. That's what we mean by making the most of surplus inventory. That's the third use case that they're doing with Tagigraph. Last use case they are doing with Tagigraph is solving this intractable optimization problem where you make a change in a particular feature. What's the impact to the parts that are involved and what's the impact to the suppliers? And what does it impact in terms of order value or what the revenue impact is? This ability to go from middle out, from a feature change to the sales order forecast and looking at what the impact it will make to sales orders and to parts and suppliers that are cost impact, being able to do that what if planning in minutes is again, huge feature for them. So what are the benefits? 120 times acceleration in the decision speed, that was massive and a game changer for Jaguar Land Rover. 
35% reduction in supplier risk, another game changer. And this is perhaps the most important of them all. They're able to get three times the business value with the same data by using Tagagraph. So that's summary of Jaguar Land Rover. Here is a quote from uh, where I mentioned uh, Harry Powell, director of data and analytics. He presented at Graph Plus AI Summit, uh, both in September as well as uh, this week's event. You can check out his keynote. He basically here talks about how they've changed from three weeks to 30 to 45 minutes for supply chain planning. The last thing I want to present briefly for five minutes before I take your questions is learning from the connected data or in database machine learning. <clears throat> fraud detection is a major problem because you lose about $30 billion to loss to fraud, just one particular type of fraud. And you have about $118 billion of blocked sales of legitimate customer transactions that were declined because of false positives. False positive is very high inside blocked non-fraudulent transactions, 80% false positive. And that's usually a high value transaction, which means you are losing a lot of revenue as a credit card issuer or a bank when you decline a legitimate transaction. So in addition to finding the fraudsters, which is the first objective, second objective is to avoid false positives or reduce them as much as possible. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna go through a brief example here and explain to you how the fraud detection works currently. You have a user that has set up an account with an email and a phone number. They are sending a pay particular payment out. That payment is sent with a particular device. That device is then attached to the particular phone number and, and to a user when they send it out. After that payment goes out to a new account, account two, that's been set up with a, that goes to the payment goes to a bank account. There's a new user, user two, that set up that account. And when you look at a traditional relational database, you go from account to a payment, you go from a payment to the account, rece recipient account where the money is being received. From there, you go to the user <clears throat> with this three hop query, which is typical in fraud detection based on relational databases. You cannot find anything unusual here and that payment goes through. Now, when you go deeper beyond the third hop or third level of connection to the phone number that's been used by the user, to the device that was used to use along with that phone number, and to the payments that have been made with that device in the past. So you can actually go back, look at that device, and look at the payments that have been made by that device, and you find that two years back, that same device was used with a different phone number, with a different account, with a stolen credit card. So you can find these kind of things easily with Tagagraph. In fact, we go 15 level deep into the hierarchy currently with customers and find the fraud. And therefore, we can reduce the, we can, we can, our fraud challenges will double the performance of your fraud detection. So come and talk to us. Why is it difficult to do in a relational database? Answer is simple. Table joins, table joins cannot do real time traversal of the data. And because you have to do table joins, it's not possible to do this in a relational database. Next one, here is an example of a tier one US bank. Just look at the size of the data here, 20 terabytes of card application data, six weeks of proof of concept to find fraudulent fraudsters in that application data. So when somebody is applying for a new card, they put it to Tigergraph. We did six week POC, that's typical for a large scale um, deployment like this. Three months to deploy, $16.5 billion in ROI by avoiding keeping the fraudsters out, not granting the card applications, credit card applications of fraudsters and keeping them out. Total lifetime impact value is $100 million. <clears throat> the reason why this works is because your, your feature set is much richer with graph. So I'll just explain with a simple example here. I have a payment set here. On the, on the left-hand side, first column that you see here are four features that are typically used in a payment transaction system that based on a relational database. So amount of transaction is one of the parameters that's used. Customer is also used as a feature. Merchant category like golf clubs or iPhones would be used as a feature and merchant is used as a feature. Four simple features. And then when you extend it with the graph database, you get to a lot more complex features like what is the value of all transactions for a merchant? What is the total number of fraud detected for a merchant? What is the total value of transactions for merchant category? And so on and so forth. As you go deeper and deeper into this feature set, the result is clear. You get 50%, uh, you reduce the undetected fraud by 50%. You have 294 frauds undetected in a sample, 28% better. And then you improve your false positive by about 60%. <clears throat> so you can actually join us tomorrow on uh, 
Friday, Feb, uh, Friday, April 23rd for a live fraud detection workshop at Graph Plus AI Summit. So when you're done here, go to tigergraph.com, click on Graph Plus AI Summit, and join us for a live workshop. And if you're listening to the recording, no problem at all. The workshop will be recorded and will be available for you to follow along whenever at a time of your convenience. <clears throat> Last example I'm going to give you here is detecting fraud rings. So this is where we find money laundering and fraud rings, for card fraud rings, uh, using 10 terabytes of card application data. Again, it's another tier one, tier one US bank. I'm happy to share the name, reach out to me. Six weeks proof of concept, three months to build out the solution, 50 million in ROI in the first year itself, 200 million in total ROI expected over the next three to five years. So that's, that's, that's the, uh, that's the, uh, uh, what I wanted to cover today. I'm just going to leave you with one um, thought. If you are listening to this, um, Thank you for joining us at Enterprise Data World. Graph Plus AI Summit um, is running concurrently. We have the last day tomorrow live workshops on April 23rd. We have workshop for real-time fraud detection, which will be very interesting for you. If you are, and you also have advanced analytics and machine learning workshops, couple of them. So attend, join us there. About 6,000 people joined us yesterday and today, and we expect about 1,000 or so to join us for live workshops tomorrow. So it's open right now. It's at graphaisummit.com. Just one single word, graphaisummit.com. Come on over and join us there. Um, we have a stellar group of people here. Uh, last thought I'll leave you is graphaisummit.com. Come and join us there. And if you haven't tried out, come to tigergraph.com forward slash cloud and join us there for, uh, a, uh, for an exciting, to, to actually check out the product for free. It's available for free. And uh, I will I will invite everybody to join us uh, to check the product for free at tagdrop.com forward slash cloud. So with that, let me switch to the Q&A. Um, and I have questions here. Uh, thank you for your questions. Um, uh, thank you for your question, uh, Joe. Uh, here is a question. How does Tagigraph differ from other solutions in the field? I know there are a lot out there, including reputable open source knowledge graph tools like Neo4j. Yes, Joe. Neo4j is a wonderful product. I actually learned graph databases in 2009 using Neo4j open source. Um, they are an excellent technology, but they were built for much smaller workloads than what we have right now. Um, we have multiple customers who have switched from Neo4j to TigerGraph because we perform, perform about 40 to 300 times uh, faster. We are a lower cost of ownership, much lower cost of ownership. And more importantly, our uh, the graph algorithm library is completely open source, which means you can review uh, the query uh, graph algorithm library's logic. You can modify it to suit your needs. Neo4j has compiled a Java library called, called APOC, APOC. It's a wonderful library, but you can't see the logic, so it's a black box, and that's a deal breaker for most of our customers. They want the flexibility to be able to write their own algorithms. They don't want black box approach. And that's part of the reason why they choose Tagigraph along with superior performance, scalability, and extensibility. For example, if you have Snowflake uh, Cloud Data Warehouse, we have a pre-built connector for Snowflake. Uh, we have pre-built connector for a host of other things. Uh, so come and check us out, and we'll appreciate you looking at us along with all the other products out there. There's another question here. Thank you for your question, Bill. Does a graph database discover related entities automatically? Does it require keys, codes, names to be in the same order to match up entities? If not, how are the potential matches resolved? Another brilliant question, Bill. No, it doesn't require you to have uh, the keys, codes, or names to be in the same order. Uh, what typically happens in long name string is we will use um, an NLP or another type of solution to extract the features like first name, last name, uh, address and so on and so forth. If you have it embedded as a part of the same string, uh, we will then use that those as vertices or business objects, and then we can find commonalities quickly and locate entities. Uh, and we do uh, discovery of relationships and find hidden relationships. That's what we do for a living. So if you want more information, Bill, please do reach out to me at Gaurav, G-A-U-R-A-V at tagigraph.com. I can provide you with more information. Come on over to tigergraph.com. You can find more information there also. There was a follow-on question to that. 
which is how is the graph database filled with data from existing sources? Is it labor intensive or fairly automated? The good news here, Bill, is we have a no code uh, data uploader from relational DB, which means you can, in the UI, you can just select the relational DB that you want to um, get the data from, enter your credentials, and Tagi Graph will suck it in. No ETL required, no coding required, no must, no fuss. It's very easy. If you are on the machine side, we have multiple connectors that are available to all the popular things. You have JDBC connector and a host of other connectors available. So you can suck it into you. Your graph data, uh, more than 60 Fortune 500 companies and about 300 uh, small and uh, mid sized companies are using it in production right now. Use a look at Tagigraph Cloud, has a lot of pre built integration uh, and reach out to us. Best thing is to try it out. Go to tagigraph.com forward slash cloud for looking at that. The last question here in the interest of time um, How do you measure three times the business value and what is the typical implementation time look like? So I'll order, I'll order both of them. Uh, typical implementation timeline in terms of uh, la large customer will do it in phases. So typically we want to go live within three months and deliver value for fraud detection for a particular business unit and then we'll expand to others. So that's the implementation timeline for uh, startups. They go live in weeks, three to four weeks on Tagigraph Cloud on their own and we are available to help you anytime. The last thing is three times the business value. It simply comes from being able to react much faster to the signal. So we are able to do profit. Uh, we were able to do demand and supply match in minutes. And that allows Jaguar Land Rover to make profitable decisions to say, this particular inventory for this part is constrained. Let me use it for these models that have a higher profitability. And therefore, I can make more money off of that. And that's where they've gotten 100 million pounds in incremental annu annual benefits every year with advanced analytics. That concludes my presentation. I'm going to hand it back to John and Luis. Um, oh, Gaurav, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the great presentation. And thanks to our attendees for tuning in. Please complete your conference session survey on the page for this session. The next session will start in about 10 minutes. Thanks again. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.